with you? Did, what did you is that do? What Kaylee did? on this TV. <laughs> they dumped out the conditioner and the, the girls baby shampoo. Did they jump out? Did they do jump out the, the green lemonade one? Mm -hmm. Oh, they couldn't do that. That's my favorite guy. But there's still some left. <laughs> but we had to put them in the shower because the water got all soapy. <laughs> What do you think? You're on TV. Did you finish watching your movie? What? And now She's so talking to you. So did you poo-poo your pants a lot today? And what happened? Hi. Were your sisters nice to you? Hi. She's talking to daddy. Were your sisters nice to you? Did Christy, did Christy hold you? Did Kayla hold you? Did, what did you is that do? What Kayla did? Oh, it's a bless you. Whoa. So, whoa, you had lots of sneezes, huh? Lots of sneezes. So, so tell me, how many times did you poo poo your pants today? Bye. You don't want to talk about that? Hi. Let's talk about something else. Hi. Tell mommy stuff. Hi. Talk to me. Tell mommy what you did today with the girls. Tell her. Hi. Hi, sweetheart. Hi. Can you tell me? You don't want to talk to her? Good. You want to talk to me? Or are you take a talking? Because you course. know what? Because. You stinky footy girl. Your feet are stink stinky feet. <laughs> Let me smell again. Talk. One good talk. God, you stinky feet, you stinking feet. Uh, 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 stinky feet. Let me smell again. God, you stinky. Stinky foot girl, you gotta wash those toes. Mommy, mommy and you gotta wash your toes. Good thing. Stinky. Oh, of course we missed the best part. She Did you not get it when she was talking up a store? Uh-uh. She was talking so much. Yeah, yeah, we're talking. Talk some more. Okay, I'm going to go take my shower now. Okay? If I leave and you start talking, I'll come back, though. Okay? Right. Right, talk to Mommy. Hey you, hey, hey, talk to mommy. Hi, hi. Oh, oh, there's a spit up. Let's see if we can get her to sit up. Oh, hi. Oh, see she is. Get your feeling. Hi. Well, she decided to suck her binky. She's tired. She's going to go to bed. Good night, Caitlin. Night, night, baby. Oh, oh. She's Stories, Kristen. Okay, yeah? Go get dressed, please.
so they turn the page. <laughs> this is almost done. Good, Chris. side of the, the yard too. Caitlin's inside. She's crying so I'll have to go inside but I wanted to get my good helpers. Shuffling. Why are you not shuffling? I will in a second. I'm taking your picture. Oh heavy. See how big of I can get? Yeah. Oh See my goodness. Oh my goodness. My good little helpers all in their snow suits. We love to help. It's fun to do shoveling. It is, huh? We are doing the fun part. Yeah. Shoveling. And then after we're going to get done shoveling, we'll make a snowman. No, oh, she's just in there crying. I'm crossing it down. Sometimes I like Good. to chop it down. Yeah. Okay, hey, I'll help in just a second. Hey, Christy, what are you going to do now? Just the window. Okay. Lay down. I don't want to do a check. Cool. Do a little bit more. Do your feet. In and out. Okay, now let's get up and see if we got a snow angel. Cute. Okay, Kayla, you run and do a trick. Curry. It's going to be a far trick. Okay. My battery's going out. Running through the snow. Oh! Down! Now let me see if we can see your angel, sweetie. And it's not it. Somewhere right there. Ooh, they love the snow. Falling through the snow. I and the one. Snow angel Day that is cold. We're laughing all the way. Well, I'm going to show you a trick. I'm going to see you your handprint trick. I'm going to see you, Mommy. Okay. You guys are playing so good in let's the snow. Let's get up and down my hand. Okay, let's try to get that. Um, let's try I'm to. I'm see. Okay. And see, I did handprints. Cool, Kayla. Okay, you know what? We're gonna try to I get. I did footprints. I'm gonna try to get um the the snow building. 
What do we have here? That's my honey. Your honey? What's her name? Um, um I haven't thought of it yet. Not yet. She kind of looks like um, a Trina. What is a Trina? She looks like Trina. I don't know. Just a name. Good job. Oh, she is Trina. Yeah. Hi, Trina. How are you? Dada. She's a cute little snow owl. When Daddy gets home, we'll build a bigger one. Okay? I love it. Trina is. Okay. Say happy snow. Look at me, guys. We, um, we are going to collect. Um, we're collecting some um, food because we have no food. Okay. Happy snow. See ya. Christy, Christy, look at mommy. What happened? What did you just do, sweetie? What is that pile right there? Hair. Her hair. Look at mom. Let me see. Look at this hairdo that she just gave herself. She's tomorrow. She'll have a pretty short little head of hair from this long. She cut a good what? Four inches off? Yeah. So she's going to look like a little. Let me see. Look. Look in the mirror. Look in the mirror. She'll have a little bob in her hair. Okay, I'll show you. Let me see the side. Yes, I was putting curlers in Kayla's hair because Christy said she wanted them in her hair. And she was in here brushing her teeth. Little did I know she was in here giving herself a new hairdo. Yeah, she was getting her a hairdo. She's Look at mommy again. She can't brush her teeth. You're gonna have short hair. We'll make it a cute little style. Okay? We'll try to fix it. Sorry you cut it. Don't ever cut it again. Where's the pile of hair? Yeah, look at that. I really want to see it. Oh, that's a good five, six inches. Oh my gosh, don't. Just leave it there a little, Missy. Are you happy you cut it? No, Christy. I said leave it there. Are you happy you did it or sad? What do you want to look like, you said? What did you say? What do you want to look like, Christy? She looked in the mirror and said, I don't want to look like a little boy. Huh, that's what you said. We're trying to make it not like a little boy, huh? We'll try to get it fixed, huh? Sorry. My camera has short hair like this. Yeah, she does. So you'll be okay, huh? Look at me again. I do be like me. Look at me, sister. Okay, we'll fix it, okay? Tomorrow. Sorry. Will you ever do it again? Don't ever do it again. Yeah, we got then you have shorter hair. Remember, most importantly. Hi everybody. I'm Brady's baby ripper. <laughs> Good. <laughs> you gotta say more than that. Oh, okay. I um. Angela. The, the newest. Oh, I'm Angela. Glenn Jimenez. <laughs> Jimenez, and I'm the newest addition to the Windale family. Good, thanks. And this is my husband, Philip. Philip likes the Raiders. No, likes the Titans. Wants yeah, the Titans yeah, helmet Titans. for Christmas. Yep. yep. Mike, if Brent forgets who I am, he's got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> a little nepotism in this company. <laughs> what was your last name? to forget who you are. <laughs> and his lovely wife, Corey, hi. and their baby, Lauren. Say hi, Lauren. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And the guy that makes it all possible, our yeah. sugar daddy. Chief janitorial service. One more? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Director of or. If you don't know who Brent is, he gave us his credit card when we started this company and said go. Yeah. So. There's his wife, Denise. Huh? I'm Craig. Four, four more. What do you want my title to be today? Craig will be VP of Sales at this dinner. Okay. <laughs> yeah. VP of Sales. Should I cut up the This is my lovely wife, Amy. Amy. Okay. Golden Brittany. Brittany Spirits is my girl's caller. Oh, yeah. Brittany Spirits. Okay. 
<laughs> and then up here, very important role. The best role. <laughs> Derek and his date, Christina. <laughs> Derek, what do you, besides Napster, what do you save in those folders that you've got going? A whole bunch of F words. Show me too. I was like, ask Andrew, she's seen all of them. So, how does Derek survive this? I keep it in the Mormon. That too. <laughs> Derek does a great job with customer service, diffusing the problem. When they say F you, he says, oh, that really hurts my feelings. That That's good enough for you. You did a good job. Okay. Drew? Uh, Do you want that camera? Does a great job with it. Introduced us to bingo.com, and when we ever get them on the site, they'll be an important part of our site. It is. And his date, Christina, in the friend zone. Hi. Yeah, I've been contracted to star in all the commercials for Wendy. Good. Good job. See you at the Super Bowl. That's what they told me, too. What is in the friend zone, man? I don't know. Zach, riding solo tonight. On the sales team. He's got his car. I heard I heard the alarm going off a little while ago. <laughs> Zach does a good job in sales there in the corner of the bullpen. And our director of Latin American Affairs. And we're not talking about female male affairs. <laughs> Oh, that's what he wish you <laughs> We're not talking about affairs with Mexicans. We're talking about Latin American affairs. Okay, Miguel does a lot of the sales. And sadly, he's graduated from reading the F word things. Managing all the prizes. He's also riding solo tonight. And he vacuums. And he vacuums. Let him know next year he won't be riding solo. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. We were going to go into some uh, stories about how we met our significant others, and you're going to get married here soon, we understand. Yeah. <laughs> you ordered the lingerie and everything? Not yet. Still looking through it. Yeah. But the ring you've ordered. Okay. And there's the party person. I told her less than 48 hours ago that we were having a party. She did a good job, didn't she? I would believe that. It's just a detail. Most people don't get most people don't get one hour notice. There we go. Is it going now? The man of the hour. Thanks for coming to the party. Hopefully next year we're showing this on a big screen in front of the uh, 200 viewing audience. And maybe Craig will give the employee of the year award <laughs> to me and give me a big screen TV. Yeah, I will. We had, a, we had a company that worked for we worked for that did that. The VP of sales gave the president of the company a, an award for employee of the year. Pretty good. Pretty good idea. The president of the company got really mad at the guy for doing it too. So, but anyway, thanks for coming. Hopefully, we're showing this yeah, right now. Yeah, he kept the TV. No, he didn't. Bigger deal. Thanks. No, all right. Hopefully, Bob Jones is employed. Is that large? Girls. Girls, look back. Look at us. Hi. Kayla Christie. Christie. One, two, three. Jeez. Cute. There you are with Minnie. We're so excited, huh? Tell her you have her little doll. I have your little doll. <laughs> there you go, Kayla. Then give me my crayon. She's using it for Christmas um, and Kayla. Okay, say thanks. Are you giving kisses? Oh, yeah.
Thanks, Minnie. Hi, Lexi. Oh, and Hunter. Hi, Hunter. And Nadine. We love coming to Disneyland, especially with friends. Huh? I got my autograph. I know. Okay, let's go. Let's have fun. And there's Caitlin Jane sleeping through her first Disneyland trip. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. oh I like this sweater. Oh, are you all together? Well, look at that. You are hiding your sleigh. Are you having fun? Oh, yes. Everybody look over, look over at Lexi's mom for a picture. Okay. Gather around over there. Gather side. around Alice.
loved it. Love it. Yeah, she did. That's all the way through it. Huh?
Miss Winnevard. Oh, my queen, you are by far the most fair in the land, the mirror would reply. And she would go about her day very happy. Oh, until one day, she woke up, went to the magic mirror, and asked the very same question. My queen did everything. <laughs> me, me and only one. Who's the fairest one of all? Oh, my queen. Other than you? Me? Oh, yes. Who? She has hair black as ebony, lips red as the rose, and skin white as snow. <laughs> The counter was piled high to the 
ceiling and there were cobwebs on that ceiling. Oh my, we're going to have to be clean. Shall we, well, what should we do first? Shall we sweep? Sure. Well, let's, well, let's find a room.
wish comes true, but for now, I think I'd like to take a nap. Sure. 
head. I saw him kiss you guys. And he bought me on the head. Oh, so fun. Yay. You can't see. This is Christy's favorite ride. Here they come. They were driving with Daddy. They loved it. Mm -hmm. 
Co-sponsored by Books and Beyond, Holiday Inn Express, the Swiss Alps Inn, and the Homestead Resort, Inn on the Creek, and Stevens Gourmet Coco. We've just departed the station to begin our journey, but we'd like to remind you that uh, please don't open the windows at any time. There is a restroom. Cookies. I did not rustle the sheets. I breathed slowly and silently. I was listening for a sound. A sound a friend had told me I'd never hear. The ringing bells of Santa's sleigh. There is no Santa, my friend insisted. But I knew he was wrong. Late that night, I did hear sounds, though not the ringing of bells. From outside came the sounds of hissing steam and squealing metal. I looked through my window and saw a train standing perfectly still in front of my house. It was wrapped in an apron of steam. Snowflakes fell lightly around it. A conductor stood at the open door of one of the cars. He took a large pocket watch from his vest then looked up at my window. I put on my slippers and robe. I tiptoed downstairs and out the door. All aboard, the conductor cried out. I ran up to him. Well, he said, are you coming? Where? I asked. Why, to the North Pole, of course, was his answer. This is the Polar Express. I took his outstretched hand and he pulled me aboard. I sang Christmas carols and ate candies with nugget centers as white as snow. We drank hot cocoa as thick and rich as melted chocolate bars. 
Outside, the lights of towns and villages flickered in the distance as the Polar Express raced northward. No more lights to be seen. We traveled through cold, dark forests where lean wolves roamed and white-tailed rabbits hid from our train as it thundered through the quiet wilderness. Sung so high it seemed as if we were to scrape the moon. But the Polar Express never slowed down. Faster and faster we ran along rolling over peaks and through valleys like a car on a roller coaster, the hills to snow-covered plains. We crossed a barren desert of ice, the great polar ice cap. Lights appeared in the distance. They looked like the lights of a strange ocean liner sailing on a frozen sea. There, said the conductor, is the North Pole. The North Pole. It was a huge city standing alone at the top of the world, filled with factories where Christmas toys were made. At first we saw no elves. They're gathering at the center of the city, the conductor told us. That is where Santa will give the first gift of Christmas. Who will receive the first gift, we all asked. The conductor answered, he will choose one of you shouted one of the children. The elves! Outside we saw hundreds of elves as our train drew closer to the center of the North Pole. We slowed to a crawl. So crowded were the streets with Santa's helpers. When the Polar Express could go no farther, we stopped and the conductor let us outside. We pressed through the crowd to the edge of the large open circle. In front of us stood Santa's sleigh. The reindeer were excited. They pranced and paced, ringing their silver sleigh bells that hung from their harnesses. It was a magical sound like nothing I'd ever heard. Across the circle, the elves moved apart and Santa Claus appeared. The elves cheered wildly. He marched over to us and pointed to me and said, let's have this fellow here. He jumped into his sleigh. The conductor handed me up. I sat on Santa's knee and he asked, Now, what would you like for Christmas? A clock struck midnight as the elves roared their approval. Santa handed the bell to me and I put it in my bathrobe pocket. The conductor helped me down from the sleigh. Santa shouted out the reindeer's names and cracked his whip. His team charged forward and climbed into the air. Santa circled once above us, then disappeared in the cold, dark polar sky. As soon as we were back inside the Polar Express, the other children asked to see the bell. I reached into my pocket, but the only thing I felt was a hole. I had lost the silver bell from Santa's sleigh. Let's hurry outside and look for it, one of the other children said. But the train gave a sudden lurch and started moving. We were on our way home. To lose the bell. When the train reached my house, I sadly left the other children. I stood at my doorway and waved goodbye. The conductor said something from the moving train, but I couldn't hear him. What? I yelled out. He cupped his hands around his mouth. Merry Christmas, he shouted. The Polar Express let out a loud blast of steam from its whistle and sped away. Morning, my little Sarah and I opened our presents. My little sister Sarah and I opened our presents. But it looked as if everything had been unwrapped. Sarah found one last small box behind the tree. It had my name on it. Inside was the silver bell. There was a note. Found this on the seat of my sleigh. Fix that hole in your pocket. Signed, Mr. C. I shook the bell. It made the most beautiful sound my sister and I had ever heard. But my mother said, Oh, that's too bad. Yes, said my father. It's broken. Well, I'd shaken the bell. When I'd shaken the bell, my parents had not heard a sound. Most of my friends could hear the bell. 
But as the years passed, it fell silent for all of them. Even Sarah found one Christmas that she could no longer hear its sweet sound. Although I've grown old, the bell still rings for me as it does for all those who truly believe. There, isn't that a lovely story? Can anybody hear the bell? Caitlin! Hi, Amy! We're just waiting for Santa! Look at my mom, 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 It's pretty dark. You guys having fun? Did you see it yet? From the North Pole, they're going to move the engine to the front of the train. So you'll see the engine go by, and I think it'll go by on this side here. It'll be on this side on, on your left, my right. <laughs> Okay. Well, that was exciting. Did you see I didn't know if Santa was going to be here, but I guess he is. Did you see Santa? I'm going to go and talk to the conductor and find out if he's coming on the train, okay? Yay, All right. that was pretty neat. Are we at the North Pole? Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, my goodness. Hello, Santa. Happy Caitlin. You're not happy. Oh. 
But she's bundled up warm, so we'll take footage when we get back with the tree. Okay, what happened? Did you break it? Oh, did you spill Daddy's drink? Okay, what are, you, what are you doing? You can't stand on that. Hi. You can't stand on that. Anyways, we're going Christmas tree hunting. They were trying to ski. On this? Yeah. I see. Christy, did you have fun? No, you didn't, did ya? Are you warm? No, should we get warm? Okay, let's go get in the car. Okay. Oh, come on. There's our tree over there. What's the matter, Kayla? You had fun. You're a good hiker. Yeah, but, but now I'm you're cold, cold, huh? Okay, we're gonna get off the boots. That's why I'm whining. I know. Let's get off the boots. Uh -huh. Daddy's gonna put Caitlin Jane in. Good job, Dad. Oh, that's a good trip. We had so much fun sliding down that hill, huh, Kayla? Tell me about it. You were going so fast. Did uh -huh. you slide down with Daddy in the tree? Yeah, and I got to draw up on myself too. Yeah, I'll bet you. And Christy watch. She's not having fun. Chris, do I need to get you inside? Yeah. Okay. Okay, Kayla, I'll help you. Yeah. First annual white elephant exchange gift. Huh? Hi, Chris. And Melissa's having the baby. Kayla, what did we do earlier? Um, um, where did we go? What? But where did we go earlier? Um, to the to the sick people. To the sick people home. Was it kind of fun to see them? Yeah. Give them presents. Yeah. What do you think about it? I love it. You loved it. Oh, good. Yeah, it was nice of you to give Jane a hug, huh? Yeah, and it was nice of me to say I love you. Yeah. Very nice. Hey, Grandma. Carrie. Okay, let's see if we can get everybody assembled in the... There's the boys. David in there. Merry Christmas. There's the other in crew. Hi, ladies. Oh, hello. Double J. Brady's talking to Freddie. Say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. How old was Jane? Um, I would say middle 50s. Mid 50s. What did you say, Lenita? Yeah. Here we are. Okay. Who's number two? Okay, go pick whatever you want. have number one, you got a 10. Pick what we want, or yeah, any gift in there. Do you get to pick another prize, or do you already have your prizes? I don't know. Pick another. You pick get another. to pick it. Pick, that pick another, because because you don't have nearly enough stuff. Okay, pick a pick a present. Go pick another prize. <laughs> Hurry this though. One? Hurry. You want one to open, or do you want one that you see? Here's a super. I don't know. Pick one that you see. Hurry, pick one. Just do it. Hey, hurry, Kayla. A swimming pool and a real mat over in the. You have to kind of pull the bottle apart. Hey, Okay, hurry, sister. Remember, you'll get lots of friends. She's so good. Oh, I wish you would get that for me. Kayla, what did you get? I want to see. Kayla, what did you get? Showtime. Oh, hurry, pick. Here, you take this, Kayla. Mm. <laughs> okay, open. Okay, open it up. See if they.
Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Right, Christmas. 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 Melissa? We've just been sharing presents. Oh, okay. Hey, how's it going? You got a new hairstyle. I'm going to get it cut pretty soon. Yeah, there's plenty. Where are you going to break for all presents? I know, it's a squirt gun. A brass knuckle squirt gun. There you go. Cool. Hey, remember to bring Boys can take it away from me if they wanted to. Oh, Sarah Bueller. I love Sarah Bueller. Can I have this one? What, honey? Can I have this one? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you got some power. Oh, the seven. That's Kylie. Look what Alex just got. Kylie. What do I got? Kylie. I'll give this to you. I think I wouldn't open that. How's it going? Okay, I'll take it from you. And then you tell me what I'm going to get. 
That one? 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 Let me see the key thing. Riley, no. To go with your cage. That's Riley. Cool. That's gross. Riley. Yes. Ooh, that's an old-fashioned key. That is cool. Brian and Julie. They're here. Merry Christmas. Hey, Mom. I'm tired. No, you aren't a lot. Joseph, but you can ride our donkey. 
And so they went on the journey to Bethlehem. When Mary and Joseph came to Bethlehem, there was no room for them at the inn, the innkeeper said. But you can sleep outside in the stable. It smells a little bit, but it's clean. So they went there to rest for the night. Okay. In the stable were a cow, a lamb, a goat, a dove, and all the animals were very friendly. They let Mary use their hay for a bed. That very night, the baby was born. Mary wrapped him to keep him warm in a blanket and some clothes. Angel, but there was stand no crib for the baby. Angel, stand behind Mary. So Mary laid him in the manger. And it was the animal's manger. In the fields nearby, the shepherds who were watching their sheep saw an angel appear in the sky. Go stand over there by Kena. The no, angel the said angel to them, oh. Angel, Carly, go what tell say, Angel. Oh, Angel, say I there's a baby. I bring you news of great joy. Tonight in Bethlehem, a baby was born in a stable. He is called Jesus Christ, and he is our Lord. <laughs> the shepherd, the little baby in the manger, they were filled with joy. <laughs> the shepherds knelt before Jesus. Then they went out to tell the people what the angel had said about the newborn baby. Far away in the east lived three wise men. They knelt down before the baby Jesus. And he is called Jesus Christ, the Lord. 
the shepherd went to the stable, and when they saw the little baby in the manger, they were filled with joy. The shepherds knelt before little Jesus. Then they went out to tell the people what the angel had said about the newborn baby. Far away in the east. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Two wise men and a girl. Oh, Tyler, you told me you'd change. There's their gifts. Okay, keep going. Oh, Missy, the, get over there. They, they saw the new star in the sky. Alex. The three wise men knew that the star was a sign, a sign that the Lord Jesus had been born. So they went out and followed the star. And the star led them to the city of Bethlehem. And it came to rest right above the stables. The three wise men and the wise woman. Oh, it's okay, Chris. Went inside okay. the stable. She's far away. And they saw Joseph no. and Mary, the newborn. <laughs> little, they knelt little down before the baby Jesus and gave him gold, frankincense, and myrrh. <laughs> Everybody was filled with joy. Even the animals seemed to know how special the baby was. Now every year at this time, we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ because he brought good news of God for the world. The end. Glory to Oh, is it, can someone press the button? No, we sing the song that they sang. Press, play. Oh, here it goes. That's it. Okay. Here we go, guys. Oh, that's it. Keep playing. I'm sure he gets lots of cookies. That's what he's given to the girls. Merry Christmas. See you in the morning.
right around the corner up there. Okay, I won't let you do more. Oh, I'm waiting to come down with Dad. Because I know Santa came. I know he came, Kayla. check to see if Santa came and he did. Santa came. Yeah. Oh, he did come. He did come. Look at those goals. Come on down. Santa came? He came. What's that? Okay. Do you see Santa came? A cowboy dolly. <gasps> all the things I wanted. And all the things. Christy, look, you got a toy cow dolly. Look, and what else did you get, Chris? And a butterfly. That's a credit card. And then one the butterfly goes in. This is Caitlin. All the toys and stuff. That's Caitlin. Look, Caitlin. Caitlin. <laughs> and look, look. Look, it has food with it. It has food with it. Kate. Look, Mama. <gasps> it makes noise. Oh look, Santa left you guys a note. Oh, a note. He left you a note. Hey, that's the letter you sent Santa. He took some, he took some of the bites of the cookie. Oh, he did. I bet he, he couldn't eat it all because he did so much. He sent it back. Why did he do he that? He brought it back with a note on it. Oh, we forgot to sprinkle this stuff. But listen to what Santa Let said. Let me see. It said, "Dear, this one was your note. It said, Dear Kayla, here are the presents you wanted. Thanks for being so good this year. The cookies and the hot chocolate were great. Be sure to be good, be a good girl next year, and we'll be no. Be sure to be a good girl, and we'll be back next year. Love Santa. P.S. I fed my reindeer the food you left out. Thanks. They were very hungry. You fed them that. Did we leave that on this table, Mama? Yeah, I left it there because you guys forgot to. We forgot to put it out last night, so I left it there, and I guess he had to feed him. He fed that to him. And Christy, he wrote you a little note. Oh Santa wrote, Dear Christy, he I love like the gingerbread bonnet. cookie. It didn't have a bow on it, but he wanted it. I love the gingerbread cookie. Want it, huh? He ate it. I hope you like your cash register. You are a good girl and a great sister. I am proud of you. Okay, Be good, and I'll come back right, next year. I'll love Santa. Hey. Money. Caitlin Jane, there's your presents over there. Do you want to go see your presents? Here we go. You go see your presents? Come on, kitty. It's cool for you to take good care of you. Daddy, look, I'm going to match my notebook coat. We can play sweet. store, Chris. Okay, where's the yellow? Yeah. Oh, Callie got what she wanted. Oh, I'm sure she did. Look she wanted a bell dress, huh? Yeah, you got this. Oh, wow. That means... Oh, yeah. I got this. I brought these for you. <laughs> that is the same color yeah. as this. I brought Mom, these for you. Mom, the same color as this. I don't know. I think you cool, know. Kayla. You're so lucky. I thought I got two things, but I got three. I think what you do is you go, oh, yes. You want to buy these? Okay. And you want to buy this? And this? And this? Okay, is that all? Okay, it's going to be... Oh, it's going to be 90 cents. Credit card? Good. Credit approved, great. Okay, thank you. Thank you, have a day. Okay, we will. Yes, some fun You have to open. Thank you, have a day. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can play store now. Um, Christy, I are you happy? I don't really want to. Look at this. the butterfly. Are you happy? Santa gave you a butterfly because he gave Christy the kid, I and mean, Kayla the kitty. He's so pretty. Mm. Mm. <gasps> mm.
There's your cowboy dolly. Oh, I got a chair. No, you didn't. I did. No. That's a chair for an office. No. Yeah, how did you know? Because only that side's wrapped. Santa knew that my bum gets blistery from no. my lousy chair, and now I get a nice chair. No, that's mommy. You excited? Mommy, yeah. what? Someone brought you <laughs> golf brought clubs. Me? Brought me golf clubs? Okay, mommy. Uh-huh. No way. These are mommy's clubs. Daddy, Santa brought me golf clubs? Santa brought you golf clubs. It says to mommy. Oh, I thought they were yours. Yeah, I wouldn't give myself golf clubs. I gave them to you. Nah, why? I to get from Santa. This is why I wanted it. I got a speed of food. Great golf balls. Well. All right. Get a gift certificate for Thanksgiving point. Two 18 hole rounds of golf. With a cart. With bucket the cart. of balls. With the cart and two buckets of practice balls. All right. Thank you. Do you like that? Yeah.